Uh, boy, it was a it was a heck of a football game, you know, um, versus a good football team. Um, you know, I think when it comes down to it, um, you know, it's, you know, I told our guys it's a game of inches, um, and uh, there was inches all over the place that uh, that we needed to get. Um, you know, and also, you know, to start off uh, with uh, Frank Signetti Sr., uh, his passing this morning around 11 o'clock, uh, right before we were going t um, into a team meeting and, and pregame meal, uh, Coach found out. And uh, when you think about sacrifices, you know, this is a game of football and there's so many other games in life. And, and um, you know, the sacrifice that he made sitting here and saying, you know, there was no doubt he was going to coach the game. And, um, you know, it's a major sacrifice. It's, it's, uh, it's a game of game of football and, and game of life. Um, but uh, our prayers are, you know, go to their family and um, just a sad, sad deal. Um, you know, just to give you a little background, Coach Signetti will probably address you later on in the week. Um, you know, he, he, he uh, went in the hospital after the game last week, uh, after, you know, after the West Virginia game, ironically. And um, Coach Signetti was halfway home, got the call, had to go back down to, uh, to the hospital. So, um, you know, tough for him. And me, again, my heart's, you know, prayers go out to again the family. Uh, tough deal, um, but whew, uh, tough deal. Um, and again, the sacrifices that, that coaches make and these players make, and um, you know, I, I really thought our players played their tails off. That's what I told them. I mean, like you talk about a football game. I mean, there was there was back and forth, and we made improvements from week one to week two without a question. Win, lose, doesn't matter. Uh, I knew that would be the factor. Our kids played hard, made some plays. Uh, men did make some plays. I mean, you look at, you know, we missed two field goals. Probably don't go over time. We can make one of them, as you guys know. Um, tough. You know, one was a 46 yards, a long one. Uh, you know, he came back and made one, you know, critical one in the second, uh, in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, we got a block punt. We block a punt. Heck of a job by P.J. Uh, O'Brien. And, uh, shoot, I thought we were going to score on it. But, you know, just the game inches, you know, uh, Sully, um, you know, kind of bumps into him and knocks him out of bounds. Like, we should have scored there. You know, that's one of the field goals that we don't make. Uh, we should have scored, you know, not let it happen. Um, you know, critical play in the game was down in the fourth quarter. Um, Nick Patty takes a run all the way down to, I don't know, the two or three. We get a holding call, which, you know, we'll look at the tape, but everybody in the box, that was, you know, uh, there was a lot of holding going on out there in different phases, and uh, that, that one that one hurt bad. Um, and uh, But, you know, no excuses. I mean, we got to find a way to win. It's a good football team. Um, but uh, I love our football team. I love where they are. And uh, again, all our goals are ahead of us. It's a non-conference game, as I told them before the game. You know, we're going to go out and have fun, play loose, and go. Uh, we're going to get better, and, and uh, you know, get a non-conference game. We'll, we'll move on. Questions? Matt Nick was limping there in the second half. Did he, did you, were you limited what you could call it because he was limping? A little bit, a little bit, but he'll be fine. A little bit, you know, no question about it. His mobility was not what we wanted it to be. That's for sure. Because Nick can run and. Made it, made it, you know, handcuffed uh, Frank a little bit. But like I said, I think Coach Signetti called one heck of a football game. It looked like Tennessee was getting a free rusher at your quarterback consistently throughout the night. Was that more from their overloads, or were there miscommunications on your part? No, I think you know sometimes you're you're in, you know in a, in a protection where you know we're hot off that guy. We got to get the ball out a little quicker, and and uh, sometimes you're going to take those those shots. But there's you know it's a different protection, and you know you, if you're going to send if it's empty, you, you know you, you're going to you're going to be one short, and you got to get the ball off. Um, you got five receivers out there. Yep. What do you have to say about your defense efforts in the second half? Unbelievable. I mean, I, you know, that's a. I mean, I don't know what they had in, the, you know, in, in regulation, but um, you know, I think last year when you look at what we did to them uh, defensively, I mean, I think Coach Bates, the defense staff, and those defensive players played their hearts out. That is a tough offense with the tempo. Um, and they started off with probably three, three and outs. I mean, um, but we got to be more consistent. We'd like to get 15 three and outs. Um, I know that's not, you know, not reality, but uh, they did a heck of a job. You know, really for four quarters. I mean, uh, we gave up a big pass and cover three. I, you know, uh, it kind of was a block and go, and um, you know, we should, we sh you know, shouldn't matter. We should have been we're in cover three. We should. There's no way someone should get behind you in that, um, but they did, and, and um, that's a that's a critical error. Um, but I thought they played their 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 their, their hearts out. Um, and again, like I said last year, you know, there's only three teams that played them really good. It was us, Alabama, and Georgia defensively. And again. You know, if you look at the yards we gave up to that explosive offense, I, I don't know if anybody will match what we did this year. Coach, last week you told us that you guys needed to take a step forward uh, after last week's game with the rushing defense. You held them under 100 yards today. Do you guys think you took that step forward? Yeah, I mean, they did a heck of a job. I mean, like I said, you know, just little details. We did a good job there. And, again, I thought we played, you know, played well on, on uh, really all three phases. I mean, you look at 
you know, we, we got a fumble recovery on our, you know, on our punt team uh, late in the game, which was critical. That was a big, big play. We got a block field goal. So our special teams played well, except for, you know, a couple missed field goals, which, you know, those are big. And, you know, we got to make those and uh, got to be 100% there. Forget about going for two? I uh, thought about it, but, you know, you know, just, no. You know, just thoughts. I mean, just, you know, let's let's go. Let's get down in the red zone and go. You know, let's go Let's go overtime. Um, I don't think it was, you know, a hard, hard decision at all. I mean, you want to take it to overtime. You don't want to lose the game right there. You mentioned uh, that Izzy told you that he wanted to be better coming into this week. What did you think of his efforts today, knowing that Hammond wasn't there to back him up? You know, what did you think of him? Okay, there you go. You answered that question. I mean, he was, he was outstanding. He ran hard. And, um, you know, he's, you know, I just kept saying, you know, when Keaton went down, I just keep feeding the horse, just keep giving it to him. And um, he had some nice runs out there today. After getting the stop on a third down with a minute left, did you think of taking a timeout to give yourself a minute uh, in the fourth quarter there? You know what, I'll look at it on, you know, not really. Um, but, um, you know, we'll look at it and I'll tell you, tell you Monday if I thought. But no, I don't think there was any, you know, we talked the whole time on the headsets, whether they needed one, wanted one, wanted to look. Um, you know, so I have, you know, no res, you know, no second thoughts there at all. How do you grade out your corners? They seem like they had some big plays that they made, but they also gave up some big plays. You know, it comes with the nature of how you guys play defense. But yeah. what did you grade them out? As? Like I said, the one, you know, again, I'll, I'll watch the tape before I say that, but I think they played pretty good. I mean, they get big plays against everybody. What was it, 27 points in, in regulation? I mean, they played pretty good. Like I said, the one, you know, was his own pressure. We're in cover three, and the thing got behind us, which it shouldn't. That's what you, that's why you call it. Uh, I think it got <coughs> behind um, uh, MJ, I think, on that one. Um, but, you know, I think we gave up two explosive passes. But when you look at overall, um, you know, solid performance. Uh, is there any way you reevaluate if uh, Scar could t- start taking kicks again for you? You know what, they, 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 they compete every week. And, um, you know, I, I think we got the right guy in the right night. You got trust in, in Sam. Um, you know, I got trust in Ben. I mean, um, you know, every kicker in the country misses field goal. So, you know, you guys want to bail on him? I'm not. Um, I, I watch every day. I know what it is, and, and uh, it's not an easy job. How about on Gavin's touchdown? When he, as you watched the play develop, did you think that he might have a chance to you know, jump over that guy? Like that was a big-time um, big time play. Um, and, again, that's, you know, you guys wanted to get the tight end, you know, some, some catches, and we, and we did. Uh, that was a big-time play. I mean, um, we know Gavin could do that. Nick lobbying to stay in, was it, did it ever get close to where you may have had to replace him given his injury? No, it didn't get close. I mean, um, you know, Nick, Nick's a fighter. Nick's a tough son of a gun, and, you know, we got a lot of faith in him. He made some great shots out there, and, um, and um, you know, Nick, Nick played well. Hey, a couple more for each of our player representatives. Coach, three for five in the red zone, but it feels like a couple of those could have went for touchdowns. Was that more of a missed opportunity for you guys or more about Tennessee just stopping you in that situation? It's always missed opportunities. I mean, when you get down there, um, you know, even the right before the half when we, we, you know, we threw that pick, I mean, I thought we could have, you know, scored a touchdown there. And, you know, um, you know, who knows with some of the calls and what happened there and the whole deal, you know, waving flags off. I, you know, I don't get it sometimes, but, you um, um, you know, missed opportunities. We get in the red zone. We got to get points. Period. Whether it's a field goal or a touchdown. Uh, do you see a problem with the rhythm of your passing game? I know Keaton went down, and there was a problem there. But your your two scores early in the game came from big explosive plays, and it wasn't like a flow of, of, of passing that worked the way down the field. Do you see that as a problem, or um, not really? I mean, you know, they got guys on scholarship too. We got guys on scholarship, and um, you know, they they coach over on their side of the ball as well. So uh, it's a good defense and. Um, they got a good plan too, you know, um, had a couple too many batted down balls. Um, they were kind of spying, you know, Keaton early and just kind of getting in the, in the lane. 33 was kind of spying him and, um, getting his hands up. Was Keaton hurt on that fumble on the very last play he played in the first half? Was that I, think, I think so. What, what was his injury, Pat? This is the last one. I, you know, I'm not going to disclose injuries and, and what happened, what we got, but, um, I saw Keaton in there and he feels good.